Hey everyone, I built this app, it's a grocery list app, and the reason I built it is because uh, my partner and I were collaborating a lot with Apple Notes and Messages, and we were having a hard time keeping everything in sync, and it wasn't really working for us. Um, and I saw this example of a vintage grocery list on Reddit, and I took the two column idea and turned it into an app. Um, and I wanna kinda go through some of the features, and the reason I'm making this video is because I'm looking for more people to test it out. Uh, I actually think that it's a huge improvement over what's currently available. Uh, but I need people to actually try it and let me know if they agree or not. Because if they don't agree, then, well, maybe I can fix some things. Maybe I should consider doing things a little bit differently. And if they do agree, then great. I'd be happy to provide value in your life. So let's just kind of go through some of the basic features. So uh, it's fully real time and it has presence. So here in the bottom right, you can see down in these areas uh, that this is showing the other user who's currently viewing the list. So there is some presence features there. Now, if we play it, you can see, obviously you can add an item, very simple. Uh, you tap through and you just got the title up here, uh, whether you need the item or not here. There's a little bit of history there. If you click through, then it actually shows like a full history of the item. And then you can just add a photo. Now you'll notice that this is pretty bare bones. That's because uh, I did kind of like a very simple version of this to get out to people. And some of the features that we want to add are, we want to add the ability to um, type a descript, like uh, some notes here. We want to do some item tagging with categorization, um, maybe like assign it to a certain person, maybe assign it to a certain store. And of course, um, I'm not likely to use a lot of these features. So I'm going to design it in a way where it's not intrusive if that's something that you're not into. But those are some areas of improvement that the community has actually already um, has actually already provided. Uh, but you can see that we have like a upload the photo flow. You can crop the photo. Uh, it'll go ahead and paste it there. And then that's like the way that we do classification. That's the way that we specify exactly what an item is. And it, and it honestly works great for us. Um, I've never had a need to put in notes, but I think that it's something that we should be adding for folks who want that. Um, now, what you can see here is on the other screen, uh, somebody has gone ahead and tapped, they've actually tapped this cart button. And what it does is it hones it down into a shopping list based on only the things that you need. And so as you check it off, uh, the progress bar goes through and it actually updates live on the other person's screen. They can see who's checking it off. Um, and now this actually works if you're both in the same, like if you're both in the same shopping experience, that same, it's all live just like that. Um, and it's, it's kind of fun. And when, if you're both looking at the screen and, and somebody checks out the last thing, everybody gets confetti at the same time. It's very exciting. It's actually a lot more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. And it's really simple, but it works really well. So if you wanna check it out, if you wanna try it out and give us feedback, there's gonna be a link to a sign-up form and our Discord uh, below. So thank you very much, and I really appreciate it.